What's going on everybody? It's the Bag of Tricks here. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be going over the three most important pieces of gear that I think you guys should prioritize when it comes to either getting your first ski setup or upgrading your current ski setup. But before this video gets started, I just wanted to announce that I've launched channel memberships here on YouTube. Basically, it's a monthly fee that you guys can pay to become a member of the channel. That money goes straight towards hopefully turning this YouTube thing into a full-time job for me, which is my absolute dream. It supports the channel, it helps make the videos, it helps pay for the videos, as well as gives you guys really cool perks such as early access to all the videos. I'll reply to all channel members' comments. You'll get a shout out in every single video. And if you pay for the upper tier, I'm offering video coaching where you guys can send me a trick that you are struggling with and I will help you figure out how to land that trick, as well as discounts on, on all Bag of Tricks merchandise. And I would truly, truly appreciate every single person that decides to join. All right, so let's hop into the video. When it comes to skiing, there is a lot of gear to think about, and it can be overwhelming. You got skis, goggles, pants, boots, gloves, jacket, helmet, poles. There's so many things, and I think it's important that you prioritize certain pieces of gear and you spend more money on them than others. And today I wanna to talk about which pieces of gear I think you should prioritize. So first of all, a lot of people would assume that since we are skiing that your skis should be the most important piece of gear and the thing you spend the most money on and I disagree with that wholeheartedly and the reason being is you don't really need the ideal absolute perfect pair of skis for you if you gave me one of my pairs of skis and I took it out and for the day I was just planning on cruising groomers maybe doing a black diamond here or there blue squares bombing trails and then you gave me a pair of beginner rentals skis with demo bindings on them. I would still have a great time and could still have a great day on those those demo skis, those, those rental skis. If you need a pair of park skis, there's so many different options out there that you could get a used pair, you could get a pair that might not be the dream pair of skis you have, and you'll still be able to do so much on those park skis. I don't really think it should be the most important thing you spend your money on. I really don't. What I do think is very important though, number one is your outerwear, your pants, your coat, and I'm gonna throw base layers in there as well. There's two things that can ruin a day of skiing for me, and one of those is not having the right outerwear or clothes on to handle the weather. If I'm freezing cold, if I'm soaking wet, it's not fun. To me, not having the proper outerwear to handle the weather of that day of skiing is honestly the worst. Now, I know a lot of people might live in areas with really nice weather where the outerwear doesn't really matter as much. Maybe it's sun all the time but for people that live where the weather varies and you never know what you're gonna get it's really important to have warm waterproof pants jacket and really good base layers so that is piece number one piece number two is a helmet I said there's two things that could ruin a day of skiing for me. Number one being not being prepared for the weather. Number two is injuries. Getting hurt or having one of your friends get hurt absolutely ruins the day. But it could also ruin your life or end your life if you're not taking the right precautions when it comes to the sport. It's a dangerous sport and a helmet is a very, relatively compared to everything else, a cheap thing you can buy that is going to protect you every single time you're on your skis. So I know a lot of people think it's kind of nerdy or it's kind of lame to wear a helmet but honestly for me it's super important if not the most important thing is protecting my body and protecting my brain and protecting my health we're not gonna be able to ski forever and we want to take care of ourselves while we are skiing so down the road we don't have any issues invest in a helmet like I said they're not that expensive they are super super important they're absolutely something that you should not just sweep under the rug and, and forget about when you're going to get your setup or improve your setup get a helmet make that a priority and Finally, what I would consider and most people would consider the number one thing to spend your money on, the number one thing that is going to improve your skiing is going to make your day of skiing much more enjoyable and that is your boots. Ski boots are not comfortable by nature. They're hard plastic, they're stiff, they're heavy. 
they're not enjoyable to put on your feet. So to get a pair of ski boots that doesn't fit just makes that all even worse. I have had a lot of troubles with ski boots that didn't fit because I just didn't really prioritize getting the right size or making sure I was spending the money to go get them fit or go get them heat molded. And it was pretty miserable. My feet were killing me. Uh, my performance on my skis suffered because my weight distribution just wasn't there. Without properly fitting ski boots, not only are you going to just be uncomfortable, maybe in pain, but you're also not going to be skiing to your full potential and, and have the full control over your skis that you could have if you had really, really solidly fitting boots. So it is super important to not only get boots that fit your feet, but to have an expert help you, even if you have to pay a little bit more to have somebody go through and get you fitted, get those boots molded, or even just have them make sure that you're getting the right shell for your foot size and shape. I can't, I can't express it enough how important properly fitting boots are and especially as you start progressing in the sport and you start getting better if you have boots that don't fit you're gonna notice it the better you get the more you will notice there it is guys three things that I think are the most important things to focus on when you're building your new setup or building your first setup is get the right outerwear for this sport it's a winter sport get the right base layers buy a helmet and then number one get the best fitting and best performing boots possible for your feet and for your body type. If you guys disagree with any of these, leave a comment down below with what you think should be on this list and give your reasonings as to why to help any new skiers who are struggling to decide what to buy and what not to buy. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, leave a comment and subscribe and join, join to support the dream. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.